Everything else is tight? No yeah. disease. I'm a little worried that we this? might. Oh, that's just extra. No, this is decent. Don't oh, need it. Those are the best state. So we gotta get the bar into here. I don't know how the heck we're gonna side the bar with Teddy's rear end. That's why you got the jack into there. But the jack has to jack the rear end independently. Hey, good morning everyone. It is Super Bowl Sunday, and this is where I'm at. Um, I'm gonna work on get the interior almost completely taken apart today, see how far I can get. Um, take the heater box out, that should go easily, hopefully. It's rusty, but it shouldn't be too bad. Um, try to get some of the pedals out, maybe try to get the emergency brake setup out. And yeah, I'm gonna work on this. Probably clean up a little bit in here because it's pretty, pretty dirty again. All right, so just a quick update. Um, working on it for a little bit. Got some stuff taken apart on the side. I'll show you in a second. But I got these right here, just hangers. Took, took them inside the house. Um, I use these to hang up out there, and I'm just priming parts. If you can see that, that's a sway bar. It's got it hanging right here. And um, so yeah, I'm just priming parts that are gonna get painted. I'm not gonna paint them. You know, this would be black, satin black. Um, but I'm not gonna do that yet because I'm not sure how we're gonna do that paint. Maybe pro professionally, we'll see. So I'm just bending some of these to make little hangers for hanging parts. There's some parts up, up top and also down below we have blasted parts. Valence, which has already been painted, some hood hinge or uh, yeah, hood hood hinges, which don't get painted. These will get painted. Um, and I have those containers down there. There's a bunch of parts, like fender extensions and stuff like that. So, oh, here's the heater box I got out. Uh, it came out really easy, actually. Surprisingly, probably one of the easier things of taking apart on this car. Um, Everything seems to be a pain in the ass because this car is so freaking rusty. So that was pretty. That was pretty nice. So I got that out. Cut out the kick panel down there. Came out easily. The fresh air vent came out fairly easily. Got that right here. Um, it's cracked a little bit, and I have pretty sure I have another set of those we got from a different car that are in good condition. So I'll probably end up using those. Obviously, got the. Uh, Air plenum, I'm not sure what you want to call that for defrosting a windshield, air defrost duct. Alright, so I got the door off. Came off pretty easily. Just, I just set the end on that thing. Came off, popped off. Nice and easy. Um, these will clean up nicely. Yeah, not too bad. You can see that factory uh, sealer right there. Also right there. There's a door up here. So, and that's it for today. Go inside and clean up. Catch you guys later. Sunday morning, uh, February 9th, I think, and um, out here in the garage. But yeah, we're gonna probably try to take the rear end out. It's just sitting in here. It's just balancing on this cross member right here. So I'm gonna figure out if I can do that. Um, I'm probably working to get the door out and maybe do a little bit more interior disassembly. All right, so we got the rear end taken out. That's the uh, pinion snubber, that's what it's called, oh. this thing. And the pinion uh, 
Daytona Pinion Sport, I think. So. Can you turn that? Or is it too locked up? Yeah. See it in right there. There he goes. A little bit of blue. At least maybe that's that might actually be bare metal right there. But there it is. Um, came off fairly easily. These bolts are in pretty good shape. I didn't. I don't think I stripped any of them. Um, they came out pretty easily. Surprisingly, it's like the other door did. Came out really easily. It's weird. This car's rusty as hell, but the doors come off like no problem. So whatever. Here's the original door sitting down here. I think I've already showed this before, but the original door tag that's never been off. Show that I forgot. Show was this. The bait going on on the horns right now about dash tags. And as you can see, this one has rivets. Never been taken off. Look underneath. There you go. The dash tag rivets. Looks like it might be kind of tweaked backwards. Maybe that's what it's supposed to be. Not sure, but then matches the door. The dash matches the door. Obviously, matches up here. It's a legit car. So, all right, I just discovered something that I suspected, but this pretty much confirms it. Now, we had our suspicions that the axle wasn't original to the car because the tag decodes as a 350 geared tag um i don't know the date on the tag if there even is a date obviously it's an in case uh i thought that the t the date on the case was right i'd have to look at that closer i'm not exactly sure what it is um uh, we thought it was a c but it looks like it actually might be an l so it'd be a 1970 case but what i just discovered which i hadn't noticed before are those the plates the view balls so uh, these are not right the car should have staggered shock plates it, it would say 428L and 428R so I'm trying to debate on what I'm doing next I was gonna do the e-brake but getting into some of the stuff back there would be hard with all this stuff in the way um, and then I thought, well, I can do a steering column. Well, getting a steering column is a pain in the ass with having the brake boost thrown away. We can do it, but I figured, well, might as well do the brake booster. So that's what I'm doing now. I'm taking these little fittings off. I'll probably have to do some stuff inside on the brake booster as well. Take some bolts off right here. And yeah. All right, quick update. You might notice it looks a little bit different in here. The complete pedal assembly excluding the accelerator pedal. Um, brake booster are out. And a steering wheel, the and a steering wheel. So, here we have the brake booster. Pretty decent shape, actually. It's not that pitted, so that might clean up well. Um, the pedal assembly. And the steering wheel, which is actually a tilt wheel. I don't know why someone would have replaced the steering wheel at some point, but it is. So, there we go. And uh, straight down side the department. Boom. Wow, check out that black. It's always cool to look at that, man. <laughs> 